right, guys. Um, what an emotional finals um, so far. Uh, oofta. So um, before we get into the video, um, I wasn't really going to make a video because, you know, I didn't know the guy too much. But, um, you know, RIP John Meadows. Uh, just I've learned so much from him uh, through training and just watching his videos and learning how to um, really optimize training and nutrition. And then um, to see guys Sternino retire like that, uh, you, you know, people can critique the guy and people can say, you know, it's about his about time for him to retire. Um, but he was a phenomenal bodybuilder. He is a phenomenal bodybuilder. Uh, he's won a lot of shows. He's won the New York Pro, one of the best shows uh, out there. And uh, I'm going to miss seeing him on stage. So uh, he officially retired. Uh, he announced his retirement literally on stage uh, just moments ago and then gave a, a really um, heartwarming speech. So um, RIP John Meadows, uh, congratulations, uh, Guy Sternino, on his uh, amazing career. I look forward to seeing the content and adventures that he's going to be on either through Black uh, Blackstone Labs or GASP or um, the bodybuilding, um, uh, bodybuilding bollocks, the real bodybuilding podcast, things like that. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say that before we got into uh, the footage for today. So we're looking at, so we're looking at the finals for the um, 212 at this year's Texas Pro. They had um, it's kind of an interesting call out. They brought out the, the last five guys or six guys uh, of that call out. And then uh, in the middle, we have um, Ahmed Fazi, we have um, Charles Curtis and Guy Sister Nino, we have uh, Toto Dijon and um, the Rodriguez fellow, Carlos Rodriguez, all the way on the right, and then um, Robinson in the purple trunks all the way on the left. Now, I, I'm kind of shocked that Robinson didn't uh, get the placing or a better placing i thought he had a beautiful physique he uh the the width in his uh in his shots especially like the lat spread the rear lat spread was fantastic uh ahmed fazi i thought he brought a really grainy condition uh, a great version of himself uh, compared to some of the other shots like um uh in romania i know that he he didn't come in best shape in 2020 so i was really happy to see an improved conditioning from him here Guy Sisternino, I think uh, a great swan song, potentially in that top six for his last show uh, after not placing just a week ago at the Tampa Pro. So uh, big improvements for Guy Sisternino. Uh, big congratulations for him and his career. And uh, Charles Curtis, love his physique. I'm really excited to see where the 212 class takes him in the near future. Uh, best of luck to him. Um, and then they bring out the top four, the projected top four. Um, so, uh, sorry guys. Um, so we have Austin Carr and, uh, Mohammed El Amam or, uh, El Wardne, however you guys want to call his name. Uh, those are going to be your top two. And then we have, um, Justin Hebert. And then we also have, um, Gomez uh, in the blue trunks. And I, I love his conditioning. Gomez was uh, by far the best conditioned guy on the stage. Like I said, in the pre-judging, I thought he was going to get outsized, but really happy to see him in the finals here. Uh, but when we're looking at this battle between Austin Carr and uh, Mohamed uh, El Sende or El Wardne, just amazing. I think that it's really going to come down to what are they looking for? And then in what shots, especially like in this front lat spread, uh, I feel like this is a pretty solid shot for uh, Mohammed. Um, but then again, uh, I feel like uh, Austin Carr is very com uh, uh, competitive in that shot as well. The side shots, I think that Austin Carr is going to be pulling ahead, uh, pulling ahead just a little bit when we're looking at these hamstrings, uh, especially from the side shot. Uh, I think that he has just a, just enough size to, to beat him out. And it's unfortunate because um, uh, Elson Day has been competing. Uh, he's done a lot of shows, guys. He's done a lot of shows this year. He's been really trying to get that, uh, that win. Uh, I know some people really don't want to qualify on points. They want to 
Uh, it feels like they really want to earn it by winning. And, uh, you know, no, no criticism here. I mean, if I qualified to the Olympia on points, I'd be uh, thrilled. But uh, I know he's been really working for this one. I don't know that he has what it takes at this show to beat out a conditioned Austin Carr. Uh, and then for Austin Carr, coming from uh, not, I don't think he even placed at uh, the, the Tampa Pro just because of how unconditioned he was with, uh, I'm not sure if it was like the super supplements or what happened, but he came in really, really flat. But that is not the, the tail of the tape here. Um, I feel like he is... In my eyes, and let me know how crazy I am in the comment sections below. I know you guys are really good at that, but I feel like he's winning these shots. I think he's going to win the Texas Pro in the 212. Um, I, feel, I feel like a, kind of like one of those aesthetic choices is um, he has a separated pectoral muscle between the two. Uh, it's, it's a little bit larger than some of the others, but I love it. I love his physique. Um, really loving how this uh, 212 class is shaping up here. Uh, 2020, I really started watching bodybuilding uh, seriously and started covering it like I do now. And then in 2021, it just completely blew up. Uh, the 212 class is just getting stacked, more stacked and more stacked. Uh, and that's, you know, one of the reasons why uh, Guy Cisternino decided to finally retire. So um, really impressed with the lineup at the Texas Pro here in the 212. Stay tuned for the open as it's coming out uh, just in a few seconds. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, but let me know in the comment sections below how you guys are feeling about the 212 at the Texas Pro. Do you think Austin Carr has what it takes to win this show? Or do you think uh, Mohamed El Sende or El Warne? Uh, has what it takes to beat out Austin Carr and win the 2021 Texas Pro in the 212. But uh, let me know in the comment sections below, guys. That'll do it for another episode on the Bodybuilding News Network. I am your host, Sanch. Um, make sure you guys check out peakperformancelabs.ca. They were gracious enough to sponsor this video. Uh, use code Sanch10 at checkout. If you guys want to support this channel, you can always do that. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the men's open.